This is Sardiner welcoming you to the sunny Pechorsk region, where today I'll be giving you a brief field guide on the Pervomay route. This region is the very first one you're set to visit during your stay in Pechorsk and is therefore a good place to acquaint yourself with the various quirks of the area. There isn't much you're going to need to pack in your carry-on for any trip into Pervomay. Some knives, healing items, a detector, and for the more bourgeois tourist, a nice gas mask should be all you need for an outing here. Currently observed weather anomalies in the area include deflector and distortions which can be found across the landscape. See tutorial number 4 for details. The northeastern route to Balotki village has had reports of deadly shock anomalies in the area. Tread with caution. There is a toxic green gas that has been seen on the eastern route to Pabita factory. A gas mask is recommended for any travelers headed in that particular direction. Finally, a reminder to all explorers that the tide is ever-present in the Pechorsk region, and as such you may find yourself experiencing time and spatial disruptions periodically. Remember to plan any missions accordingly using the tide meter found with your map booklet. Be sure to take in the local fauna of the area, including the lovable spawns, cute little abominations that will be so excited to see you, they'll try to give you a hug with their many painful pseudopods. Be sure to give one a good pet if you happen to catch its attention. The local residents include Shades and their more put-together relatives, Dark Shades. Always willing to walk up and lend a hand, Shades are softies at their core, and while Dark Shades are more resistant than their counterparts, they too will reveal a soft core with a little bit of prodding. Be on the lookout for policeman mimics. These law enforcement agents are particularly diligent and have the express purpose of keeping tourists out of employee-only areas. Unfortunately, they've designated employee-only areas as anything within their line of sight. Since they are armed with pistols, the Pechorsk Tourism Board would advise against engagement at this time and hereby takes no responsibility for any injuries incurred by the policeman mimics. For those of you on a leisurely visit, the following is a list of tourist attractions you might consider visiting. The Hunter's Blind. Pervome Crater Field. Pervome Transformer Way Station. Green Gas Crater. Power Station Anomaly Cluster. And many more! Be on the lookout for orange item crates and the rarer white item crates in these areas. Inside you'll find an assortment of items deployed to the area by UN SPC forces that have been made available to anyone in need. Warning! The following part of the video is to be viewed by UN SPC agents only. Minor spoilers for the main missions ahead. You may now close the video if you'd like to explore them for yourself. There are two primary points of interest to the UN SPC in the Pervomay route. The first is to gather a rare artifact called an Atom from a tent in an army installation that is fairly close to the entry point near point C3. You will require your detector apparatus to make it appear, and finding it shouldn't be hard with the locator feature on the detector. Simply bring the artifact back to the delivery locker at home base. The second point of interest is a large warehouse facility near point F6. In the northwest building, there should be a roll of film in a desk. Your mission is to retrieve the film from the desk and return it to the delivery locker. Remember to bring a flashlight if you don't already have one. There have been reports of the black grass anomaly in the building. If you can do this simple task, you'll be rewarded with security clearance level 2. Thank you for attending this field guide to the Pervome route. Stay tuned for the next episode, Balotki Village, and happy scavenging. This has been Sardiner.